Bruce here. What, what is the update on, on Harry Kane? Do you think he might be on the bench tomorrow? No, tomorrow no. Not on the bench? Will not on the bench. It's good because uh, you can you can see him to do the warm-up, to make the, the warm-up with the team, uh, to be involved in some exercise, but uh, no, for tomorrow. Obvious, it's not obvious, ready. It's not ready to. to obvious to. next question. Sunday. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Did he complete the session then today? Did he not do the whole training session? Um, no. Uh, he made the, the half training session with the team, and then uh, was a specific training session for for him and for Toby was the was the same uh, specific training training session for for them. Do you have any idea with both of them when they might? Both be able to do full training sessions. Yeah, we expect maybe maybe Thursday, maybe Thursday. Uh, Harry, Toby, not sure, and um, we have some another problem. But uh, um, no, will be will be good for Harry. Maybe Thursday uh, start to, to training or be involved in the whole session with the with the with the group. It is, Joe. If everything goes according to plan with Harry, will he be available for, for England when the, when the squad name on Sunday night? Do you know if he's available to play Sunday against again Arsenal? It's difficult for us to, to, to stop him if the national team uh, call him. Um, that is more a sense of the of the manager of the national team or, uh, to say to, to to select him or not that is now if if we are if uh, harry will be available that is because he's uh, available to play and uh, we cannot stop that and and then is the the manager is Gareth if he want to pick or select, select him or not would you consider leaving him out on sunday sorry would you consider leaving him out or okay? Letting him continue to recover on Sunday, so he didn't have to go away for the international team. No, but he is available for Sunday, and and the doctor uh, said to us that the can be available. No, it's not a, you know, we are pro national team always for all the player, and never to if Harry will be available. I think that I am not stupid. We are not stupid to say no. Harry out to try to protect him, and after two weeks to be with us. And we need to understand that uh, uh, we want the best for the team and for the player. It's true that maybe it's more sense to say for the national team to say, okay, uh, stay at uh, at home, stay with Tottenham training two week. Important to build uh, Harry fitness and, and 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 to be better after, but. If they consider that uh, need, uh, they need uh, Harry for play on the national team and is available for for play against Arsenal, and we cannot stop that. What would be the risk if he doesn't play very many minutes on Sunday, but then England take him? What what would England be risking if they they selected him? But this I explained like before is for us it's, it's difficult it's difficult to to stop if uh, we select him. Or I, I select him for play uh, Sunday against Arsenal. We open the the door for the national team to select two, and, uh, and that is is to is how they manage will manage him on the national team. But is there a risk of him being injured again or having a setback if they take him and play too much? It was a good example for you to understand. Was uh, Danny Rose that was available against Manchester City to play after his that was injured with the national team, and then uh, they use uh, into against Malta and against Slovenia to Danny Rose and play nearly uh, full two, two games, and that is we cannot manage that, and only we can advise or. Uh, only that, and then they they can use the player, and, but it's not in our hands to manage them on the national team. Um, obviously, we know how much Kane thrives on playing lots of football. How much do you sort of sense his hunger and you know and frustration at not playing for as long as he has done? Harry, yeah. yes, this is. Do you know he loves football and he likes to play and he likes to compete 
every 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 three days or every every week or every time that I give the chance to play. And uh, I sure it's hard for all the players that love football, you know. And Harry is a player that uh, love football, enjoy a lot playing, and that is tough. When I'm, Does that no? help you, for, for example, you've got Arsenal on Sunday, is there a particular motivation because, you know... Um, Harry is, is mo always is uh, motivated to play. The small side games here on the train session, do finishing on the afternoon alone with, with some keepers or playing against Arsenal or a big game. Always is, that is um, the, the important thing that... Uh, he, how he is, no? How he shows his character and his personality, and and, and, and that uh, when the ball is in the middle, he likes to play football. A question, Setish. With um, Harry just coming back from injury, would you consider talking to Gareth Southgate if you feared that he was going to get injured and asking him not to select him for the? No, no, never, never, never. If he call me, he will call me. Okay, if he, he asks me, okay, I, I will give my my opinion and my advice. But on, on the end, it's, it's his job. It's his job to to recognize every single situation about the the player, not only with Harry, if not with with all the players, the whole squad, and to consider if it will be good for Harry to be involved. In the international duty with with the national team or not, we cannot say nothing. Only if he asks me, I will give my opinion. If not, no. And on uh, Victor, when he was signed, when you signed him for Tottenham, did the fact that he wasn't going to go to the African Cup of Nations factor into that at all? Uh, if you know, <laughs> it's difficult for Kenya to go to the Africa nation, no cup. Um, but you know, uh, we not only consider that. Uh, for us, it's important. In that moment, when we decide to sign him, was uh, what quality can bring and add to the to the squad, more than if we'll be involved in the in the Africa National Cup, no? Okay, Carrie. Rochelle, looking to this Champions League match. If we yes. Um. <laughs> no, but I understand. So many. <laughs> Subject to, to talk. What's the mentality of this team going into this match? Is there something more to prove after Well, I think it's important for us because we understand that the will be kid kid that uh, that game. The, um, I th it's very important to to win the game to take the three point. But in the same way, we understand that too that the Leverkusen is a very good team. Uh, they prove. In the first game, that uh, there was uh, a tough, tough uh, um, opposition, and uh, they have very good player. Um, I think will be tough, but uh, the same way that we are uh, conscient that we need to to take take the three point if we want to go to the next round. It's a very important game for us. Defensively, you've been so strong this season. In a sense, was that quite a surprise? Performance? Surprise. Uh, to the defensive. Yes. Yeah. No, I think last, last season we were strong too, and we showed that we worked very hard to try to, to to keep safe our goal. Um, I think this season we we improve a little bit in that area, but you know maybe we miss um, or we we need to improve in in our offensive um, um, situation, and we need to be more clinical. Because uh, all the stats uh, are talking that we are one of the, the teams that we create more chance, but uh, our percentage needs to, to, to improve and increase, and we need to be more determined or aggressive in, in the last third. How hard is it to motivate players when they're already though in the stats performing well, but it's all about getting that final goal? How much balance between putting the pressure on and seeing them still perform well? Yeah, sometimes you know football is about periods and about situation, different situations that happen, and it's true that the last uh, few weeks after the inter the international duty was difficult for us to to score or be more clinical in front of the goal. Uh, we are creating maybe the same chance that before, that the uh, but uh, it's true that the, our percentage uh, was poor. 
uh, in front of the goal. Is that that we need to, to improve that? Uh, we are talking, we are working uh, about that, uh, but uh, that is a is a area that we need to improve a lot. But is it hard when you see the players putting in the statistics and not getting the results to? Make sure that dressing room isn't frustrated and is positive. Of course, it's disappointing because all the players like to score. It's true that sometimes we we uh, you feel that because uh, the stats are not uh, bad about to create chance and shooting and uh, all all the offensive stats are good. Uh, but we need to score more and some, sometimes we have lack of maybe to be. Clinical in front of the goal, and that is a, a thing to work. It's a thing to realize that we need to be more aggressive and to be more, more focused in the last third. We need to be more, more, more determined to score. Okay, yes, Richard, was today the first time Harry trained with the first team? Um, no, yesterday was uh, was involved too in some uh, drills with the with the group, the whole group. Today was. Uh, increase the, the participation in the with the with the team, and uh, tomorrow and after tomorrow, uh, after tomorrow we expect that uh, that be involved with the, the whole group and the whole training session. We saw some of the players sort of giving hugs and things like that. I, I wonder if you think how big is the mental boost as well as just having him back as a player. Yes, yeah, do you know in the last uh, few seasons he was very important for the team. Uh, he's our top striker and he's one of the best strikers on, on Europe and always uh, that uh, Har uh, Harry is really, that now is very close to, to be back uh, um, always is important for, for the for the team. Just on playing Wembley, I wonder if you'll change anything in your approach this time around from what happened last time? Well, I think it's, it wasn't a problem about the approach uh, all, only that uh, no um, the game was difficult from from the beginning. We made some mistake and we allowed to the to Monaco to, to score. We conceded uh, two goal and very early on the game. And but uh, we played well. That was uh, only that uh, uh, thing that can happen in football. But we cannot uh, blame again Wembley or because uh, we play uh, with 90, nearly 90,000 uh, fans. That uh, bug us, and I think that uh, we need to to be clever now to know that we need to play with intensity from the first uh, moment on the game. That is uh, that we need to improve for from the last game that we play uh, on Wembley against Monaco. That was our mistake, was our problem. No, no Wembley. Well, Amelia has a. A main problem today uh, during the, the training session that maybe is out for tomorrow. We need to assess, but uh, we are not sure that be involved tomorrow on the on the game. What was the problem? What was I feel a, a, a small uh, problem in the hip during the, the training session, and uh, it's not sure that be involved tomorrow. Okay, it's gentlemen. Any way I can ask in Spanish? Sorry? Is it okay to ask in Spanish? No. Yes, of course. I don't know if Simon in yeah. Spanish. No, no, I'm, I'm happy, but yeah. more than happy. You have to make it. <laughs> <laughs> had a, had a problem. Have eh? one had a problem. <laughs> had a problem, but that is French. <laughs> had a problem. <laughs> <laughs> you want the answer in French? Spanish, ningún problema. Sí, Eric eh, sin, eh, sintió hoy un pequeño problemita en la, en la cadera. Eh, y dificulta que mañana pueda estar. No es un grave problema, pero nah, no, lo, no lo vemos claro que pueda estar en el partido de mañana. Okay. Yes, the problem is that we don't have time to train too much because we the priority is to to rest and recovery because uh, we play in I don't know but uh, after the international break uh, was 22 days seven game now we will play the six, six 
the six in 19, 19 days. Mm -hmm. 19 days. It's too difficult to train and, and to work to improve in some specific work. We can we can do uh, things, but it's too difficult because the priority is rest and and playing and. And sometimes you don't have time to to work too much. It's true that we are watching a lot of uh, clips, videos, because no, always is 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 uh, is good to for the the people realize. But it's about uh, it's more about mentality. It's more about to be aggressive uh, in your uh, energy because I think the player uh, they know how they need to shoot, how they need to behave in the last third. Sometimes uh, it's about uh, no, to be more more freedom, and and in the moment that you have the opportunity to shoot, uh, you need to shoot before to continues to pass and try to to build uh, the 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 action more. And I think it's about it's about uh, mentality more than work. It's true that they, when we have we will have the time to work. Uh, in our minds to work more finishing, but you know that is not the only the solution. That. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up with question from Matt, then Andy, then Phil, then Tom. Okay. Matt. Mauricio, November looks like a really big and important month coming up for you with the fixtures you've got. How important do you think it's going to be to your ambitions this season? Yes, I think every month is important and uh, will be tough. Uh, November two, um, and um, but do you know always is important. But um, after next week, that uh, is the last international break, and then to to March, uh, the thing will be important to be all together and have time to work. It's true that we the, we we expect a very we will have a very busy period. But do you know? And then always we can find the. The way to work a little bit, improve in the areas that we need to improve, and um, will be will be good. To stay all together. No? Specifically, because of the fixtures you've got and the teams you're playing against in quick succession. At the end of the month, will you have a better idea of, of what you're fighting for? Uh, I think it's too early because you know um, it's not that decisive months no, uh, November to to settle the the. The objective, I think, always for me that uh, Premier League will be very, very competitive, and uh, you know, it's not too much gap in between all us uh, after ten games. I think you can see today after ten games uh, the 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 challenge and the objective that uh, every every club uh, will will fight no on the future. But always like in football, no, uh, you always uh, you must win games to be in a good position to fight, and um, for that every game in will be very important. Okay, Andy. Paul Mitchell is the bookmaker's favourite to become the next manager of Milton Keynes. He's obviously worked with you twice now in recruitment jobs rather than coaching and management. Do you see qualities in him that would enable him? To become a good manager and coach, if he was deciding to go that way. Yes, first of all, I, I don't know if the rumor are true or not. I don't have the possibility to to speak with him. Uh, it's for that to give my opinion is too difficult now. But as a person, does he have the qualities if he wanted to become a manager? He was a player. He was a player. Uh, not so good, but was <laughs> 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 no. But he got a, a injury when he was very young. 25, I think, and uh, stop uh, stop his career. No, we lose a big, big player. But uh, <laughs> now, I, I, yes, he's a, a football people. I don't know if his dream is to be a manager. If his dream is to to follow in the way that he take few years ago. Um, to be honest, um, I I I hear the rumor. I I see the rumor on the media, but. I don't have the, the possibility yet if true or not true, or maybe surprise me today or tomorrow. I don't know. Phil. Maurizio, the advantage about playing at Wembley is all the fans can come and see Tottenham. So many fans can see your team tomorrow. But the disadvantage, of course, is 
it's not White Hart Lane. And we see with England games and other games how away teams get inspired at, at Wembley. How can you? How important is it really for your side to make it count starting with this game at home against Leverkusen? Yes, it's a many things that we cannot change. It's true that White Hart Lane is uh, is our home and. Um, Always it's difficult for the opponent to to come uh, to come to Whitehall Lane and to take positive results. It's true that it's prior and mo it's a big motivation for the opponent when you come to England and play on Wembley. I think that is exciting because it was for for me to come here to England in 2001 and play on Wembley again, again England and it was fantastic experience. And but we we. We need. We must. To, must to be for us a, a big, mo not only motivation, and inspire us because uh, 90,000 people that support you and are in behind you must to be a big, big problem for for the, our opponent. And it's in our mind to create that energy, and it's, it's, it's our responsibility to create that that atmosphere that they say, eh, okay, it's an exciting thing to come here and play on Wembley, but will be tougher too to play against Tottenham because you play against 90,000 supporters and fans that uh, are very exciting and, and, and bring all our energy, uh, all the energy to us. That is, is in our, it's our responsibility to create that, that atmosphere. How difficult is the balance though? Because it's clearly not home, but if Tottenham are going to have an impact in the competition, you have to make it count, don't you? Yes, but now, uh, after Monaco, that was all new for us. And uh, to discover it different, no, uh, because the changing room was different, uh, the place of the families, the uh, supporters, the no. Now is is will be different, will be complete different because it was all new, and now we we know that tomorrow we are on Wembley, how we need to arrive, the the parking for our car, uh, our habit, no. That now is. It's completely, really completely different. I hope that completely different too on the on the result too on them. Okay, Tom, last one. Mauricio, it seems to be much harder today than it was maybe 25, 30 years ago to win the Champions League for a team outside a small group. Do you ever see that changing in the future? I don't know. Always, always football is is difficult. Always uh, to be su successful in football, always difficult. 20 years or 30 years ago, or, or now, or in the future too, because uh, we cannot uh, descontextualize. ¿Cómo se dice? Take out of context football. Okay, we cannot compare. Uh, 20 years ago was different, but it was difficult, no? And will be uh, difficult and different in 20 years ahead. And it's for that is it's like uh, when you compare Maradona or Pelé or Di Stefano. For me, they will be the best. Uh, no, they were the best player in the world. And now, if you compare Maradona with Messi, always it's difficult to compare because it's a different context. We say, oh, Maradona uh, never can play today like Messi because now it's more physical. The, the game like this, but Maradona because was was a great player will uh, will adapt the quality and today and success in the same way that Messi. It's too difficult to compare the, the periods on football, but for me, always it's difficult. To win in football, to be successful, that is always is, is a completely difficult thing. I suppose what I meant is that maybe in the past you had Ajax who could win it, um, Marseille, a variety of teams. Now yeah. it seems that the wealth, is, the money is much more of an important factor. Do you see that it's, it's possible to change that? It was different. The football was different. Uh, maybe it was more uh, uh, competitive. Uh, Europe was more competitive, um, but maybe now, for different reason, uh, the focus is on England, maybe or in different country. Um, and the, but for me, it's the same. Uh, it's, it's not to take. Uh, um, uh, I think when Marseille or, or Ajax they won the the Champions League, they deserve because they they had an unbelievable player. I remember that that team like uh, no big big player on the on the team. 
it's true, it will be difficult, but uh, you cannot stop. Uh, you need to believe and you can compete with Real Madrid, uh, Barcelona, no, big clubs, Bayern Munich. Today maybe they are on the top, but we need to, in football, all can happen. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.